All right, this is part two of The Wing Ding Dilly by Bill Peet. But Scamp was in no mood to worry about a little witch, so in he went. It was much cooler in the dark, spooky woods and ever so quiet. The only sound was the burbling of a brook running along through a jumble of rocks. The brook finally trickled down to a crystal clear pool where Scamp stopped to stare at his gloomy reflection. This was the first time he had taken a good look at himself and more than ever he wished he were a horse. All at once the hair at the back of his neck bristled. Someone was watching. Quickly Scamp wheeled around looking right and left and then finally up into a sycamore. And there was the little witch leaning out the window of her treehouse. She doesn't look so bad. Scamp was on his feet all ready to run when the witch said, So, you want to be a horse, do you? And before you could say scat, she flew out the door and down the steps and was nose to nose with the bewildered dog. Why, old Zildi can turn you into a horse in a twinkling, she said, patting him gently on the head. Oh, but I can do much better than that, doggy. How would you like to be something fantastic? The only one of its kind in all the world. A marvelous, magnificent something I call a wingding dilly. What do you say? Scamp cocked his head and thought for a few seconds, then with a wag of his tail barked, yes. Good dog, we'll get on with it, she cried, snapping off a twig of the sycamore. I don't really need a wand, any old thing will do. My magic power is all in the words, just watch. Suddenly, Zildi was dancing about like a grasshopper, waving the twig in the air with her high, screechy voice. She recited the magic words. Diggity, doggity, ziddledy, zump. We'll start right off with a camel hump. Then camel hind legs, skadoodly do with zebra stripes and a zebra tail, too. with squarish brown spots just like a giraffe. Columpity mumbo jumbo cajelephant. Here's the big feet and front legs of an elephant. <laughs> zum zum's a root, most anything goes. So how about a rhinoceros nose? Then elephant ears, curve flippity flop, and reindeer horns, zilly zop out the top. I've done it, I've done it, Zildi cried gleefully. There you are, dog, the one and only wing ding dilly. Go take a look at yourself. The sudden change had made him dizzy and Scamp tottered unsteadily on his new set of legs as he turned around to face the pool. What he saw was much too much to take in all at once and with a loud rhino snort he went staggering backwards. <laughs> 